everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the most boring unboxings in the world where we open up stuff that comes to the dice tower and we see what's inside it. This is a very light box. And that's because of just one small game, Adventure Games Discover the Story of the Grand Hotel Abaddon. I didn't really like the last one of this, the volcano, but this one I'm hoping is better. I really like the first one of these, the dungeon. All right, let's see what we got here. A bag full of stones of sort. Well, this is for the Dice Tower Library. These are upgraded pieces for Spirit Island. Instead of tokens, you use these little like glass things. I really like this sort of thing. I'd replace a lot of games with these if I could. All right, we got a, a green package here. An envelope of sorts. See what we got here. Execution. Oh yeah. I think I remember talking about this one on uh was it Kickstarter? I don't remember. Execution. Adorable capital punishment. Interesting. Well now we have a long triangular box, which can only mean a playmat of sorts. What? Ooh, it's a pretty play, Matt. Well, I know what this is because I got the shipping notice. This is Ankh, the play, Matt. If only I had the game for this. Oh, well, maybe the game will come soon. There's another big box. Let's open it. All right, is this Ankh? This is a big box. Doesn't seem like it would be, it seems like, it like Ankh would be bigger, but who knows? Aha! It is not Ankh. Instead, it's another Kickstarter called Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels the Board Game with apparently Fish Head and Shield Knight. I guess they were Kickstarter uh, stretch goals or something. Alrighty. Well, I hope this is good. I don't know much about Shovel Knight, but I do like miniatures. Testing. All right, let's see what's in this box here. This one's, you know, usually I, I talk about these boxes being light. This one's pretty heavy. Ah, because it's full of some small games here. We have monikers and classic monikers and serious nonsense monikers and more monikers. So that's a lot of monikers. And we have So Clover which I am going to be reviewing next week because I've already played this several times. You'll have to check out this one. Actually, I said next week? I know when you guys are seeing this. It's going up this week. All right, we got a pretty big box here. Let's see what's inside. Ah, finale. Terraforming Mars, the Kickstarter edition. I have the, the one from... Uh, uh, the the normal version, the target version, and then Don Eskridge's Quest from Indie Boards and Cards. Well, it's a much bigger game than Coup was, but it has the same kind of artwork. All right, Customs went through this one again. Good old Customs, always ripping up my small packages. What is in this one? Oh, it's a prototype. Read me for some dice or a die. I know what this is. This is a single die. That's like all dice. So like it's a D20, a D4, etc. I don't know how it works. I guess the read me will help. All right. Let's see what's in this box, which has duct tape on it. It's kind of light, so could be a card game. Could be component upgrades. One never knows. Nope, it's a it's a card game. It starts with a Z, which and this game is from Romania. Well that's interesting. Lords of Zenora. Huh, 
I like the artwork for this game. All right. I hope it's good. Looks cool. A long, thin box here. What could it be? An abstract game called Atana, The Looms of Kanchi. Well, I'm assuming it's an abstract strategy game. This one's made in India. We're having all, we're going all around the world for games today. That's exciting. All right. Well, this one's from Felix. You can see that by the tape on it. I like custom tape. We have some custom dice tower tape. We don't use it very often, but you never know. Huh. This is Successors. I don't know much about this game. One of the best multiplayer game strategy games ever published. Oh, this is from Richard Berg and Mark Simonich. Huh, so this is a reprint. I don't know a lot about the original game of this. It's from Richard Berg, though. He made really, really complex games. Eh, you never know. All right, a big box here. A hefty box. Has a hefty game inside it. An 18XX game, to be clear. 1846. The Race for the Midwest. And Space Core Inventions this is an expansion for Space Core. I never played that, so I don't know much about that one. But 1846, I'm not going to play that one either. Uh, oh, this one's from Tom Lemon, who I know is a big 18XX fan and designed games like Race for the Galaxy and such. All right, cool, cool. All right, now we have just an envelope here. Let's see what's in it. These are some replacements for Anachrony. These are for War of the Ring to replace the tokens in that game. More War of the Ring replacements. More War of the Ring replacements. A bag for War of the Ring. And I think more War of the Ring stuff. These are not War of the Ring. These are apples for Villainous. <laughs> well, that's all pretty cool stuff. All right, this one here has some bands to keep it safe. And then what looks like a, it's a puzzle. <laughs> All righty, this is from Peter for their upcoming game on Kickstarter, the Spice Tower. That's great. All righty. I'm very happy with this. All right. Well, finally, a week after the original play mat came in, Ankh is here. So let's see what's in this very mega box. All right. So we have the Pantheon. Gods of Egypt. Kind of stick this here. So this, uh, I'm assuming, adds some more gods to the game. Then we have Divine Offerings. Plastic pieces. My favorite. Uh, then a little box here. Pantheon Extras. I don't know what this is. Some cat tokens. All right. I heard that there's a little sticker sheet that might fall out. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Then here is Ankh, Tomb of Wonders. This is all the Kickstarter stuff. And then finally, Ankh itself. Well, I have to say, that is not a terrible way to end the most boring unboxing in the world. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Tom Vassell, and this has been the most boring unboxing in the planet. We'll see you next time on the Dice Tower.